September 9 will mark the 14th anniversary of the fire that destroyed St. Jude's Hospital. It is also the anniversary of the stadium being used as a temporary hospital serving the south of the island. But three elections and three prime ministers have come and gone without fulfilling the promise that the stadium will be returned to its primary function as a sports facility. Now that Julian Alfred has brought the glory of a gold medal to St. Lucia, there is new urgency around the issue of finishing the hospital and repairing the sports facility. The Guardian newspaper reported that Alfred lamented the deplorable state of the George Odlum Stadium and hoped that it would be fixed or a new stadium would be built. The Prime Minister reiterated that it has always been his plan for part of a $200 million low-interest loan from Saudi Arabia to fund the repair of the stadium, prioritizing sports in St. Lucia. The Saudi loan was heavily criticized by the opposition United Workers' Party for increasing the island's debt burden. Pierre himself has made debt reduction one of the most important aspects of his administration. We cannot On Monday at his weekly press briefing, Prime Minister Pierre promised that once the ongoing St. Jude Hospital reconstruction allows the medical facilities to be moved out of the stadium, repairs will begin immediately. We borrowed money from the Saudis to complete St. Jude. I can't tell you, I'm not an engineer. Although, although you all get annoyed when I say I'm not an engineer, I'm not an engineer. <laughs> but the fact is that we are going to use the rest of, of the money to complete St. Jude. That's why the $1.5 million is put in the budget to begin preliminary work on St. Jude. The Prime Minister pointed to budget allocations that would use some of that money from the $200 million Saudi loan to start preliminary work on the George Odlum Stadium. Prime Minister Pierre did not give a date on when this would begin, but sports is vaulting to a new level of national priority on the island. And with Pierre himself tying the opening of the new St. Jude's Hospital to the calling of new elections, it seems that the dark age of the George Odlum Stadium may soon finally be over.